Angel Rebo, known as the CEO Confident. Is an influencer, international TV host, public speaker, CEO consultant, board member, and philanthropist. I was always doing the same thing. So I was always helping my employers to develop their businesses. I think that business leaders now need to be conscious like never before. They need to hear different messages. Angel has empowered more than 1,500 CEOs in 33 different countries and speaks five languages. Hello, hello everybody. This is Angel Rebo, the CEO Confident, and as you know, also president and co-founder of the Wisdom for Kids Foundation, where we, we help underprivileged kids in Latin America become entrepreneurs using the local resources. And we are here today with Mark Carvota. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hi, Angel. I'm doing great. How are you today? Very well. Thank you. Great to have you here at the CEO Confident TV show. And, you know, so everybody that still doesn't know who Mark is, he's the chief revenue officer for Keeper Security, and he's based out of? Uh, Chicago, Illinois, our headquarters. Chicago. Okay, wonderful. So I'm here in Dallas, Texas, and we're going to have a conversation today about something extremely critical nowadays, which is security and, you know, internet security. So I would like to start the conversation, Mark. Could you please explain what Keeper Security does exactly? Sure, absolutely. Hi, everybody. Keeper is an enterprise password management solution, and uh, that, that sounds like a lot. Um, it's really designed to uh, protect and encrypt the passwords of, of all the employees of your companies out there so that um, the, the platform is secure, but also that employees have the ability to enter very complex passwords seamlessly, but also without, uh, with, we call it a zero knowledge, zero trust platform, where the, they don't have to remember their passwords, just a, just a master to get in. And uh, it allows us to pre create very complex passwords that are very difficult to breach. And uh, that's, that's the goal of the platform. We always like to share with the audience the human side of the people that we interview. And the reason, reason being is because we, we believe that it's really that trust that's being built among you know, people sure. that generates eventually the value and the exchange of value among uh, you know, executives and companies. So I know that you have you have uh, joined the team of uh, Keeper Security just recently, but you come from a background of you know internet security like for, for many 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 years, yes. right? So you really know what internet security means to all of us every single day. Sure. Correct. And you come yeah. into a company that was just last year, you guys got an infusion of additional sixty million dollars. So what's going on in Keeper Security that attracted you and attracted so much money last year? Yeah, it's it's really an amazing story. Keeper is first off the the idea of of enterprise password management has been so ready to be unveiled on the on the enterprise. Uh, the proliferation of passwords, people using spreadsheets, um, the remote workforce that's out there, the security posture of the world in terms of the number of breaches that are going on. It, it's just been ready for a long time. And Keeper is a, a, a nine-year-old company. This isn't a new concept. It's just that people are really getting around to realizing that every single customer, every single employee really needs to be protected um, at, the, at the password level. So um, it's an exciting place to be. It's probably one of the the greatest technology platforms, the, the story of Keeper, uh, people think password managers and they think, you know, something that's very simple, like Google has that. And Keeper is something that's very, very different. It's very sophisticated and it's designed to work seamlessly with some of the most complex um, kind of platform uh, tools that are out there, like single sign-on, you know, where you log in once and, and it logs into all your applications. Um, the idea of two-factor authentication, uh, the modern directory platforms that companies use to, to kind of manage all their employees' uh, roles and responsibilities, things like Azure and things like that. So um, it's an exciting place to be. It's a, a very necessary uh, part of the enterprise. And it's, it's one thing that you have to do to secure uh, the entire enterprise top to bottom. When it comes to security, do you think that companies today actually set the right priorities? Do you think that they really know 
what might go wrong or what might be happening without even they knowing as far as internet security goes? Yeah, well, I think what's happening is they're starting to become very aware that they're at risk. So that that is almost universal now. If you pick up the paper or look in the news, you find out that there is a lot going on. And I come from an incident response company, my previous company, the Crypsis Group, uh, who was just recently acquired by Palo Alto Networks, um, who is really just scaling that business. It was designed to, to investigate true data breaches. And it's staggering to see who gets breached, whether it's something as small as a, a doctor's office or a dentist or an accounting firm or something as sophisticated as the Equifax, you know, uh, breaches or Marriott that you read about in the news. And um, the reality of it is everybody's at risk. And I think people are starting to realize that what they don't know is what to do about it. And also what they don't know is how to prioritize because there are a lot of things that you need to do to secure the enterprise. It's not just one thing. And Keeper doesn't solve the entire security problem, but it solves a very, very meaningful piece of it. And so password security is essential. And the real crux of, of what's elegant is having it all work together seamlessly. And that's where we spent our energy and our money to make sure that enterprises can just adopt this in hours, not years. And, and deploy this uh, throughout their enterprise quickly and seamlessly. Do you think it's true that every time you read a newspaper, probably there's going to be something in the you know, technology section talking about yeah. security breaches, but are there more things happening today that we really don't, are not aware of? Absolutely. That might be undermining the security of our company like Absolutely. every day? Yeah, well, I mean, you have uh, different levels of, of hackers and people that want to do malicious things, everything from insiders, um, you know, who, who might have malicious thoughts uh, on stealing data, um, people that inadvertently expose the company. I mean, just doing your daily, you know, your answer an email, it turns out to be a phishing attack and you're, you're on your way. Um, but also there are, there are, you know, organizations that look just like normal businesses where people come to work in a suit and tie to hack every day. And it goes all the way up to nations and there's nation state attacks. And this is what we saw when, when we saw FireEye in the news recently through the solar winds uh, breach. That, that is a nation state attack. That is some of the most sophisticated uh, security breaches that you're ever going to see. And somewhere along the way, we're all being targeted. And honestly, you can't really look out and say any of us don't have data that's personal that's on the dark web. And wow also helps prevent against that. So if your data is exposed, Keeper knows how to identify that. Um, it brings it to your attention and helps you change to more effective passwords so that you can uh, keep your data safe going forward. You know, there are many different um, C-level executives that are going to be watching this interview, watching this interview right now. Sure. If you had to tell them or to maybe ask them, if you, if you could ask them a question that could maybe allow them to think, are we really secure? Are you know, all of our passwords secure? Are, do we have the right platform? What would that question that you would ask? What would be that thing that maybe I might uncover a blind spot that they don't know it, it exists? Yeah, I, the big one is, is how comfortable that you, are you that you know how secure your endpoints are all the way to the last employee? And the answer is very simple. We don't know. When you don't have tools like this, you have no idea what your your employees aren't going to tell you that, that they're using the same password that they use that's been breached 60 times, you know, with, from their credit card company and Netflix and everything else. And yet they're bringing it to your business and employers don't know. They don't have control over that. Um, they can Im implement things like complex requirements. But the, the reality of it is the productivity loss from employees not remembering their password you know, having to get a, a reset. Um, we're just not wired for that. And, you know, people take shortcuts like biometrics through very rudimentary tools. And the reality of it is, is those expose things like metadata and they're not secure. You have to get to zero knowledge and zero trust if you're really going to arguably be secure. And so I would ask yourself is how confident are you that that's where you are? And it's not a it's not a, a, a lick on anybody. The reality of it is, is we're all evolving. 
we didn't know this. We weren't ready for the pandemic and we're not ready for this level of security breaches that's happening right now out there. So we're, we're reacting. We're trying to get ahead of it. And, you know, we're here to help. Speaking of the pandemic, has that changed at all the entire like scenario of security in the world? Yes. Um, well, what, what we saw initially was we saw a lull in the breaches, believe it or not, because what happened was even the hackers got disrupted. So they were not going to work every day. And so we saw this lull and right after COVID started um, and then it kind of came back with a vengeance. And the other thing was like you see the Bitcoin markets, uh, they were down. And so, you know, hackers are about wealth creation and they, they charge huge ransoms. And so, you know, Bitcoin's at over 20,000 right now. And so what you see is these sophisticated attacks because they can capitalize on that. This is a money-making operation and they're there to steal your data to use it for their gain. And so, yes, it's, um, it's changed a lot, but also, you know, now you're off network. You're outside of the security of your office. People uh, let their guard down. They're not using their VPNs. They're not using other security tools that you've put in place because it's, it's friction uh, when you're working at home or they don't know how, or your IT staff is overburdened. And, and so all of these things are contributing to really making us more susceptible to these things. And, um, you know, it's definitely a challenge for everyone. I have to say that I was one of those that was using a very old system to keep the passwords. Yes. Um, I, I, I had no idea that they had literally almost 1000 passwords. And I had no idea I had so many that were repeated. So I had consistently used the same password for almost a hundred of those sure. 1000. I had no idea, but I have to say that the transition, my transition into keeper security, oh my God, it was a matter of minutes, a matter of minutes. It was just incredible. I mean, I, I, I personally couldn't believe it, but something that I, I really have, I have to confess, although I have some technical knowledge, this zero, zero, excuse me, this zero knowledge. Could you explain a little bit more on that? Because I think sure. that it's so important. It's so important that I think it makes a big difference and actually it also differentiates what keeper security does in the market. Yeah, it's so important. So when you think about um, uh, something that you get off your browser or whatever for passwords or for anything else, that data is stored someplace. And that data is just as susceptible to a breach. I think we've proven through FireEye and everybody else that nobody is above the security breach. If somebody very sophisticated wants to hack your company, they will find a way. And so it is important that when we think about how we set up security, that there is no, no knowledge of it. So we don't host unencrypted data in our data center. So if you were to go into the data center, you would get nothing. The only place where that where that password truly exists is on the client's mobile device or laptop. And what we do with our zero knowledge is it's true. It, it's not, that data is not anywhere that's available. We can't see it. Administrators can't see it. Only the end user. And that's after they accomplish their, their decryption. The other thing about Keeper that's very unique is let's say you have a thousand passwords. You have a thousand different encrypted. Data. And that wow. is, unbelievably sophisticated like nobody's using that level of technology and what i would tell you is that it's essential in the enterprise you know you may get away with it at home but the reality of it is you're already breached there's no there's no substitute for it and this was a very deliberate ground up effort when we built this platform to build in that manner it had to be that because nobody i mean this is the this could be the last bastion of, of security. When somebody gets your password, they can get in and move. And um, so it is, it is very important that this architecture is in place. As a thought leader in the internet security space, Mark, I would like to ask you a question because you've seen this internet security industry from so many different you know, yeah. um, uh, frames of reference that what do you think? And obviously when someone starts using a new technology, they always want to know what comes next. Are they ready for the next step? Are they going to be ready for the next technology out there? So where do you think, where do you think that the next, you know, wh what's going to be the next service, the next product, the yeah. next technology, the next strategy that Keeper Security is going to be tackling in the upcoming, let's say two to three years? 
Yeah, I think of this, um, I call it the modern identity platform. So when we think about identity, um, you know, that's really how we get breached. Um, and it's a combination of technologies. So this idea of single sign on, one password to log into all systems, um, this idea of very sophisticated um, directories and things like that. Um, what's happening is, is they need to talk to each other. And so with the uh, evolution of these web-based platforms, things like Azure, um, they've come a long way on their own right to, to kind of match what we're doing at Keeper. And so these are easy to implement, they're seamless, but they're also built on some of the most sophisticated integration technologies that allow things to talk together. It used to be really hard for technologies to talk to one another and we all develop in a vacuum and then everything's one off. And so what we're seeing is this, this evolution of, of seamless integration and Keeper's built on that. It's one of the best in the world at that. We can integrate to pretty much any identity platform that's out there out of the box and in hours without spending a ton of money. And what what's next is um, it could be a number of things. And one is the evolution of this. The second is some consolidation of this type of thing. And, you know, the threats are going to get more sophisticated. So, you know, we have the dark web. Who heard of that three years ago? And so, you know, there's going to be new ways that people will expose your data. You know, when, when hacking started, they held people for ransom and people started to use their backups and said, I'm not paying the ransom. I'll just restore my backup. And they said, go ahead we'll release your data on the dark web anyway. And so they had to pay. And so, you know, the, the threat is evolving, the companies are evolving. And what I can tell you is, you know, as we evolve to the next technology, we have to start to, um, you know, companies can't buy everything. So what is Keeper doing? We're starting to adopt more of these features that, um, you know, look like a combination of three or four of the modern identity stack um, platforms and starting to incorporate them. Because let's say you deploy Keeper first as your primary method of, of security. It's got to do a certain number of things um, that make your enterprise more secure. And, and so that's where we're headed and, and how we're tackling it. Excellent. If anybody here listening to this conversation, if they would like to know more, okay, if they would like to connect with you, right? So what, what's the best way to connect with you online, Mark? Sure. I'm, I'm Mark Cravada. Um, you can see my, the spelling of my name, C-R-A-V as in Victor, O-T-T-A. I'm on LinkedIn and I invite you to connect with me and um, we'd love to talk and we'll engage with everybody. And we have uh, free trials if you want to uh, set that up, but we're also, we'd love to dive deep with you and help, help you architect or even strategize on your security posture. And uh, we think we can help and we're, we're pretty hard hitting, you know, uh, effective solution for that so i do i really encourage you to reach out um you know and we'll be happy to engage anytime exactly something that we haven't mentioned but i think it's important because also i mean you 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 really cover all the spectrum of company sizes right so you yes. you both serve the solopreneur the you know the entrepreneur but also you serve obviously large corporations correct yes we sure do um you know, I've been a consumer user of the product for three years long before I came to work here. And it's phenomenal. We have a great consumer platform and people can buy that. Um, we also, uh, you know, provide consumer licenses for our business customers. But, you know, our, our small and mid-sized business uh, platform is growing rapidly, um, but also our enterprise. So we, you know, we kind of work all the way up from, you know, the single user, small office, home office, all the way through the multi-billion dollar enterprise that's global in nature. So it, you know, we, we cover the gambit and um, our technology is modular so that you can deploy what you need based on the sophistication of your business. Excellent. He just mentioned that, by the way, don't miss that. You will see on the, you know, in the text of the post, you will see a link for a free 14 day trial, correct? For free 14 yeah. day trial, correct? correct? Yeah. Yeah. And please sign up for it. But also, you know, if you want some help with that, you know, please don't hesitate to reach out. We, we love to engage. This does not have to be self-service. Um, we want to talk to people. We want to help you with your security. And, and we're excited to, to do great things. Excellent. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you here, uh, Mark. Really a pleasure to have you and to have, uh, you know, Keeper Security with us. 
understanding and knowing so many things that you know they look simple but they're really not and they're definitely critical for all of our businesses and our lives yes thank you angel it's been a pleasure and i look forward to chatting with everyone absolutely thank you thank you very much and again to all the audience thank you for being with us today i'm sure that you have enjoyed this conversation with mark Carboda, the chief Rev revenue officer of keeper security as we have here and we hope to see you soon in our next conversation you have a wonderful day Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching our show today. The entire team of the CEO Confident appreciate your time and attention. If you think that you are a good fit for the CEO Confident TV, please connect with us on LinkedIn. We hope that you enjoyed today's show as much as we did. See you soon. Angel Rebo, the CEO Confident. Email address angel at angelrebo.com. Don't forget to follow me on LinkedIn. Thank you.